Welcome to Dynamics. So this will be the part of the course where we talk about things moving and accelerating. And to begin this, the book starts off with a topic that you've probably been over again and again and again and again. It seems like math professors, teachers love to introduce calculus by showing the relationships between acceleration, velocity, and displacement. So since you've been through this so many times previously, I'm going to go through it very, very quickly for just a brief review. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start out talking about notation. So this book uses S for the notation for position. All right, so if we're looking for the change in position, that is equal to our current position minus our original position where S0 denotes the original position. Okay, so this change in position is also known as displacement. So if we want to find the average velocity, right, the average velocity, we usually take the displacement over the change in time, or we can call this the change in position over the change in time. But we need to be careful about how we calculate the average velocity. For example, if I walk to the grocery store, which is a mile away from my house, and then walk back, and it takes me 40 minutes to do that, what is my average velocity? Well, my displacement, if I start and end in the same position, right, my displacement zero, and then my average velocity also comes out to be zero. All right? So we need to be careful about that, and we need to usually talk about the instantaneous velocity or the current velocity like what your speedometer shows on your car. So the instantaneous velocity here, we usually need to take a small bit of the displacement and a small bit of the time, all right? A very small bit. So the instantaneous velocity is the derivative of the position with respect to time, ds dt, okay? And likewise, you've all seen that the acceleration, the instantaneous acceleration is dv dt, the derivative of the velocity with respect to time. And likewise, we see that the acceleration is also equal to the second derivative of position with respect to time. Okay, you've all seen this before. And the graphs that associate these two together. Um, and I wanna go through one more equation that commonly you don't go through, which is A ds equals V dv, okay? And this is good if you wanna talk about integrating both sides. So the left-hand side we would integrate with respect to position, and the right-hand side we would integrate with respect to velocity. 